you doing today, sir? <laughs> pretty, 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 pretty good. <laughs> right, a little Seinfeld reference, but... <laughs> Curb, curb. Oh wait, my, sorry, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. That's Larry my David, one of my favorites. Yeah, that that's definitely my bad. Uh, you know, I was I'm making, I was going to make a joke about SNL and whether or not you know if Bernie were to win, if he would be, become a regular for four years. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to start with a few fun questions. Uh, what's your go-to karaoke song? Oh man, this question haunts me a lot. Um, Lately, it's been um, Fly Like an Eagle, strangely enough, and um, Hungry Heart, Bruce Springsteen. That is a great song. Yeah, I could also do uh, In Excess, Disappear. Um, could even throw in a little Phil Collins in there, you know? <laughs> so you're proficient? Yeah, I try. I try. Uh, what do you collect, if anything? What do I collect? Um, uh, you go to like the mall no, or you I go to eBay like what's what's the thing I feel like I save uh, online articles sometimes really how do you save online articles? well I just I make a file on my on my iPhone or my iPad and I put like sort of interesting interviews that I've read or um, just certain certain articles that kind of fascinated me or I thought were interesting I, I sometimes like because I never know where I may use them or whether it's something to reread for inspiration or whether it's something I, I once in a while I dabble with a little bit of writing so sometimes it helps to have a couple of things there in the you know in your pocket are you proficient with uh, being on social media I would say no because uh, uh, this could be a good place for you to put these articles that you like <laughs> you know let people know what you are digging I'm not um, I've certainly gotten better, I think, um, but uh, I'm not, you know, uh, I'm not that busy on social media as I, as some may argue I could be, or uh, should be. I, you know, something. There's no right answer with social media. I think that that's true. There, I mean, it's that's what true. you because some people are legitimately like Dwayne Johnson is amazing at it. Look, some people are incredible at it, and he is exactly one of them. Uh, I, if I had. Uh, that kind of social media skill, I would be, you know, look, I, I do the same thing. But I kind of just think once in a while I get like an impulse, impulse and I go, yep, this is, this should be a, I, this is what I should be posting right now, you know, or something like that. But I, yeah, I, it's not, it's not necessarily part of my everyday experience. Uh, jumping into why I actually get to talk to you today, uh, this is one of those, I, I thought after seeing it, I felt like, uh, Melissa plays a character that's almost like the female version of Kenny Powers. You know, like... She, yes. She's like, you know... I mean, it's, it's interesting because she's filthy. She's... You know, she goes after what she wants. No apologies. You know, uh, when you read the script, were you like, wait, what is this? I, I was just laughing so hard um, at the crude nature <laughs> of the script. Uh, I kept quoting it to my friends, and then I couldn't stop talking about it and thinking about it the night... Uh, later on that night and then the next day and um, I thought that all the characters were really funny but at the same time had a lot of heart and even though they were such outrageous narcissistic sort of um, out there personalities such as Hope and Lance Tucker um, at the same time you could kind of see the insecurity and sort of like what was going on underneath. So and it was and it was a it's like a love story that's kind of interesting and really different and stands out on its own. I definitely agree with that. Yeah. Um, I haven't laughed as hard at a scene in a while as the sex scene from this movie. I mean, I was <laughs> absolutely like howling. Like it's so well done and so choreographed. You know, like when you re how was that on the page versus the way it actually was filmed. I mean, it probably is what shooting porn would be like, if you think about it. I mean, I was definitely there uh, sort of going like, uh, Brian, uh, the camera angle that you have right now. I mean, I'm not sure which, uh, you know, where where, where that's sh shooting, but um, how do you, how am, I, how am I positioned in the shot, you know? Do I need to do a couple push-ups or anything else? Uh, you know, but <laughs> but it was, uh, it was very funny because it was, I think my third day on the set. Get out. Um, and it was, I was like, okay, great, we're gonna jump right in. 
you know, I'm going to get it out of the way and finish it now. And, and uh, 8 a.m. we're standing around with like, you know, steam and cups of coffee, kind of looking around going like, all right, so how are we going to make the most epic gymnastic sex scene ever? Um, got to know the crew pretty well after that. I was going to say, I, I mean, I wasn't expecting it, like the <laughs> way that thing goes down. And yeah. uh, let's just, you know, and there's also some tattoos. There's like full on. There are, man. That thing was with me for at least two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> So every time I was, uh, you know, every time I was at the gym, like going to the steam room, I had to wrap the towel like up to like my chest. <laughs> so I wasn't that weird. <laughs> so I wasn't that guy. Um, this is one of those films that I think you had like a 22 day shoot. Yeah. Uh, you've also worked on these mega budget Marvel movies. Do you prefer one or the other, or do you feel like there's like a time and a place for each kind of a shoot? No, I mean, I think, uh, I'm grateful for it. There's pros and cons to each of them. I think, um... You know, when you're working on something like Marvel, which is a ma you know, you're you're basically signing up for five months out of the year, right? And and it's a long project, and it's it's a lot. I mean, it's long hours. You got you know, it's a lot of action sequences, and it 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 has different demands on, on you. And I think in that environment, it's a little bit better to have your own space and sort of kind of recharge and go back uh, and. Uh, so that's a pro for that, and and when, when working on something smaller, I would say something like this can be more collaborative. You know, um, you can. It's much more about like being on the set and kind of staying there with the crew and being being in the trenches with the director and kind of like, you know, banging out the shot and figuring out what you know what what everyone kind of sort of helps each other out, and and sometimes um, because of that closeness, you can sort of develop. Uh, trust in a different way and we needed that kind of trust on this film because it's very heavily uh, improv based yeah uh, that's the other thing I wanted so, to I wanted there's to a lot of stuff that we that made it into the movie that was not in the script um, and a lot of that goes to uh, Winston Melissa's husband Melissa Brian who um, would come up with the most outrageous, you know, lines one after the other for each of the takes and kind of would switch things up on me, which was awesome. And then, um, yeah, and then I tried to, you know, arm myself with all kinds of different possible things that I could be improving about, you know, like what kind of, you know, uh, like I had this thing that for some reason, like Lance really, really didn't want his lips to be chapped. So he would, you know, he was like an over uh, uh, heavy, like chap user, you know, if you will. Um, he that or or the fact that he had like carry this backpack with him, where he had like a protein pack and like one of those almond jars, you know, and like maybe Trump's like art of the deal, you know, just something there to to have in between to pull out, you know, if he if he said to me, hey, we've got like 30 seconds before the shot picks up, like you're on the phone what would you be talking about, you know? And that's that's a really cool f sort of um, element of freedom that you have on these movies that sometimes you don't get to so much on something that's much more material-oriented, such as a comic book. When you are in a movie like this where it's improv, how much are you the night before coming up with those alt lines in your head, and how much are you actually just doing it right there in the moment? I mean, I would say for me it's 90% in the moment. Um, you can, again, you can kind of start thinking of, um, there's always a, a perimeter, always a ballpark of where you want to exist, right? And and otherwise the improv can just end up being all over the place. But when you have a great, talented director such as Brian, he can, he can sort of guide you and direct you in the right sort of way. Um, I just knew that Look, I was playing a narcissistic, arrogant guy who is not afraid to make his stance known, his opinion known, and and to shock you. And so sometimes I was like, you know, the whatever ridiculous thing that's in my mind right now will work. Before I ran out of time with you, uh, hypothetically, I might have talked to the Russos, and maybe they provided me a question or two I should ask. Uh, they said that perhaps on the set of. Winter Soldier, you snapped a photo that uh, you've been saving. Uh, can you tease it, or can you what what can you uh, tell people? Well, um, I would say that uh, 
I guess we'll find out in a few months. <laughs> that's, that's the tease. Yeah, <laughs> but there it is. So you took something, though, on Winter Soldier that you've been saving this whole time. Something came along my way Did- on, a, on, a, on one of those really hot August strolls. And uh, I, 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 uh, I picked it up. I, I'll leave it there and say, so we're going to see it right after uh, Civil War comes out. You're going to see something soon, for sure. Yeah, uh, something uh, that's been jumping out of my telephone every day. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, they mentioned, one of the things I commented on, though, was that you were just so nice and so great with fans. And one of the things they shared was that on in Berlin, when you guys were filming, Joe texted you, and you'd already wrapped, and that he texted you and said that there were, like, these girls that had driven six hours from Poland, and you came down in your pajamas. <laughs> like, so what exactly, what happened there? Well, I, I had gotten done with uh, work early, I think, that day, like, one or two, and then um, I was in for the night. I was watching Apple TV, and, um, yeah, I got a text from Joe uh, that said, hey, man, Listen, there's a there's this group of very sweet girls out here, and they're just they've been waiting. They they came from Poland. They drove. They've been waiting here all week, you know, because um, we were coming in from a different entrance, so I wouldn't see them. And it, you know, it, it'd be amazing if you went down there. And you know, I just I was like, what's what is it what is it to just walk downstairs and say hi to to a couple of people? I mean, I just. Uh, and it was great. I'm glad I did it because they were so sweet, and I, I couldn't believe they had driven that far. And and you know, I think I think that's amazing. We we have some of the best fans in the world. I mean, we really do. And I and I feel very privileged because I feel like I've got some of the best fans um, out of everyone. So um, you know, whenever whenever I can meet someone, it's it's a pleasure. You know, it's always like a great reminder of another sweet perk that we get from doing what we do. Did you really wear pajamas? There was, there was some kind of sweatpants. Yeah, some kind of, you know. <laughs> That's great. Because some people... Domestic might... homeware of some sort. Um, my last thing for you. Have you seen Civil War yet? I have. And yeah, I could, have. I'm going to tell you, every person I've spoken to that has seen it has just been raving, saying how awesome it is. Did you walk out of the theater like, oh, yes? I, um... Well, I wasn't a th- I was in an office, and I mean, I, I, I sat there, and basically, there was a bowl of candy and fruit and gum in front of me, and then there were a bunch of sparkling waters, and I basically sat on the edge of my couch the whole time like this, and I was I just ate through that entire bowl of candy as I was like. In overly stimulated with uh, with this movie, which is, um, I think, uh, I'm so proud to be in it because everybody is fucking awesome in it. Everyone is fucking fantastic, and there, you know, I uh, yeah, it's just I, I'm I'm ca- I walked out of it speechless, really, I and I and I've worked on the movie, <laughs> and I was there, and I was you know. Um, but I, I became, I walked out of there and I had back pains. I mean, I was like, I couldn't, I, it just, it was amazing. It's going to be a great, great experience. Yeah, I've heard that from everyone. Listen, congr- 